Hey everyone, welcome to Athletics. If you have a passion for sports or you've ever wondered how teams, analysts, and even fantasy players use data to gain an edge, then you're in the right place. So every industry uses data, even the sports industry, which means that you don't have to be an athlete to have a fulfilling career in sports. At Athletics, we're teaching you the skills for data science through the lens of sports. So today I'm gonna to teach you how Python can help you analyze sports data, uncover hidden stats, and make smarter predictions. So let's get into it. So Python is widely used in sports analytics because it's simple, powerful, and packed with libraries that help analyze sports data efficiently. Teams like the Golden State Warriors, Liverpool FC, and even ESPN use Python for data-driven decisions. To get started, you will need to install Python on your computer. So start by going to python.org slash downloads to download the latest version of Python. I like to use Visual Studio Code or VS Code as my code editor. So if you want to follow along, I recommend downloading VS Code as well. So once you have VS Code downloaded, you will need to install the Python extension for VS Code. You can get the Python extension in the extensions marketplace, which you can access with Control Shift X or if you have a Mac, you will use Command-Shift-X. Just search for Python and install the Python extension. We're almost done installing things, but the last thing I would recommend installing is Jupyter Notebook, which you can also find in the extensions marketplace. So just search for Jupyter Notebook and install this extension as well. Once you have everything installed, you can open up a new Jupyter Notebook by pressing Control-Shift-P, or if you have a Mac, you'll hit Command-Shift-P and search for create new Jupyter notebook. Now go ahead and test everything out by printing out hello world. And when you run your code, click on Python environments and select the latest version of Python. And now you have Python on your computer. Now that you have Python downloaded, let's go through an example of how to load and explore sports data in Python. So I'm gonna start by importing my libraries. A Python library is like a toolbox, and the pandas library is a very popular toolbox for data analysis. So anytime you want to use a library, you need to start by importing that library. I'm also gonna import two more libraries that I will need to read in my data. All right, so now I'm gonna load my data set by creating a new variable called URL and setting it equal to the URL where I'm getting my CSV data set. And if you're following along, the URL that I'm using for this example is linked in the description. Now I'm gonna create a little block of code here to read in my data set. And for the purposes of this introductory video, it's not really important to go into a ton of detail about what this block of code does. So at a high level, I'm creating a new data frame called DF, and I'm setting it equal to the data set that I'm reading in. Lastly, I want to see my data frame. So I'm going to type the name of my data frame, df.head, which is a command you can use to print out the first however many rows of a data frame. You can specify how many rows you want to see inside your parentheses, but if you don't specify anything, you will get the top five rows. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So this is a real NBA data set containing data from thousands of games. And we have data here for team stats, scores, and even the ELO ratings, which measure team strength. All right, so let's take this a step further. We have our data. Now let's answer a simple analytics question. Which team had the most wins in the data set? So I'm gonna create a new block of code here. And in my data frame, I'm gonna create a new column called is winner, which will determine if a team won a game. So if the team's points are greater than the opponent's points, they win. Next, we need to count how many times each team won. And we'll do that by using group by and pandas. So we're grouping wins by team ID, and then we're gonna sort in descending order. So from highest to lowest. So what we've created here is a new data frame called wins per team. It's just two columns. We have, of course, the column is winner, which determines whether or not the team is a winner. And then we have the team ID column because is winner is grouped by team ID. So let's print out our data frame. 
but let's only print out the top 10 rows. So again, I'll use head, but this time I'll specify that I want the top 10 rows. And when I run this, there's my top 10 winning teams. So the answer to my question, which team had the most wins is Boston with 3,517 wins. All right, so I want to note that if you are a complete beginner with Python and most of that code looked really confusing to you, that is completely fine. Learning a coding language is truly like learning a spoken language. It takes time to recognize patterns and get to a place where you feel comfortable writing code yourself. So as you're watching these tutorials, take your time with each video, follow along and write the code alongside me and try not to get too frustrated if you don't immediately understand what's going on. Eventually things will start to click and it'll start to make sense. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Athletics course offerings for courses on Python, R, Bayesian, and all things data science for sports. Leave your questions in the comments and make sure to subscribe to get notified every time we post. Thanks again.